Hi there beauties, welcome back to my channel. So I have got my current favorites for you guys. Since I don't really do the monthly favorites because, I don't know, I just, I kind of forget and I think it's a little bit nicer to do current favorites rather than monthly favorites because things change so often and sometimes I just don't like a new favorite. So I have piled everything inside of this cute little bag here and I'm gonna show you guys everything that I am currently loving. First off, we're going to start with uh, a contour palette by Kat Von D. Now, I saw everyone get this palette first when it launched, and I thought, it's just another contour palette. How is it going to be better? But honestly, like, I have fallen in love with this palette. It is just so, so nice, and I think it's just so easy to use, very easy to blend, which I thought maybe it wouldn't be, but it's really, really good. And to go along with the same lines as that, um, let's see here. I've got a couple brushes here that I'll kind of tell you about. There's one brush that I did forget to grab, um, but I can tell you what it is. Uh, first one is the MAC 188 uh, brush. And I got this at a CCO outlet, and it just has the um, almost like that stipple uh, end of the brush. I don't even know what the name of this brush is, I just know it's a 188. Um, since I got it from the CCO, but it's really, really great. I use that for um, a lot of my highlighting whenever it's a really strong highlight and I don't want to overdo it. But then I did discover this new brush at Sephora. It's a Pro Featherweight Fan number 92. It is so unbelievably soft and it's just, I have never felt a brush so soft, but that one is hands down one of the softest brushes. And then I have fallen in love with the Luxie brushes. I have gotten a couple of these in my Ipsy, a couple, I think, in my BoxyCharm boxes before. And then I did purchase a set with my own money as well. But this is the 514 brush, um, which is just the blush brush. And you can see that it's clearly used. Um, but there's a contour brush that I absolutely love from the line. Wish I would have brought it in here. I thought I grabbed it, but I grabbed the blush brush, which I do love the blush brush and... Um, the contour brush is just it's phenomenal. I highly recommend that brush line. And then a perfume I have been loving is the MAC um, Turquatic perfume. I wore this one on um, vacation every day when I was in Florida and I think it's just it's such a nice scent to it and it's not overpowering, it's not super heavy, it's just a really nice scent and I really like it. And then Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara I've purchased this so many times that I have gotten my friends now hooked on it and um, they're in love with it. Completely out of random order here. Uh, this is the Kenra Working Spray number 14. This is the um, Platinum. It smells so good. Um, I love the Kenra line. Everything in the Kenra line just smells so good. And then on to another hair care product. This is the Redken um, Extreme line. I got the shampoo, the conditioner, so it looks like this. This stuff is great for your hair. It makes my hair so soft, so smooth. And then I did get the Extreme Length Primer as well. It's, re it's really gloomy today, so my lights might be a little bright today to kind of show things off. Um, but it's a rinse off treatment for distressed hair. You leave it in for, I leave it in probably for about three minutes, and then I rinse it out, but my hair, feels so good after I use this. And then they did um, come out with an extreme length sealer. This is for um, split ends. And you can use this wet, dry, whatever you want to do. I use it both ways. When I get out of the shower, I will um, just put on my hair and then also when it's dry to smooth down my frizz. And then it has one of these brushes on the end. This is the only thing I wish that they would change about the product. I don't like the brush on there. I don't use it. I just squeeze it out into my hands and then just um, rub it together and then put it on my hair. And then this one is a hair oil I got in my FabFitFun box, I want to say a month ago. And this is an Argon Hemp Oil. Um, I think it's just by the brand, I don't know how to pronounce this. Marquiche, possibly. It's just an original scent. Glass bottle and it's a two fluid ounce. And this just... It's really nice for my hair. My hair feels great after using it. Oh, goodness. As I drop everything on the floor. Um, I just discovered this. This is the Tree Hut uh, Shea Sugar Scrub. And this is in the scent 
Litchi and Plum, I believe. So it looks like this. And then it's just a thicker type of uh, body scrub. Smells so good. I got this at Ulta. It was like $7. And I did hear you can get this at Walmart as well. So it would be a little bit cheaper there, is my guess. But they had at Ulta, I want to say, five five different scents. And this one I like the best because I like a little bit of a berry scent. Let's go on to makeup. A CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. I have used this for, I would say, two years. And I use this whenever my face needs something that's really lightweight but gives good coverage. I was breaking out for a while and I was like, what am I using? And it's because I was using more more of like the fuller coverage foundations that were thicker and I was breaking out. I was breaking all in my T-zone area, wherever the oil was coming and I was just breaking out. So then I switched back to this and honestly, this gives really good coverage. I can full coverage with this, like just with, I would say one, one coat on my face gives me like a medium coverage and then I just put a little bit more on and it's full coverage. So I highly recommend this, very affordable. And then for concealer, I have been using the uh, Naked Skin uh, Concealer in the color Light Neutral. I think it's a really great light neutral um, color to use, especially underneath your eyes. I do set it with a powder um, because it can sink into your fine lines just a little bit, but if you set it with powder, you're good to go. And then for a highlight, I've been using NARS Albatross. Yeah, it looks just like this. Sorry, my lights are probably gonna blare that out. But it's a really pretty highlight. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. But I know a long time ago, I know that Kim Kardashian used that color to um, highlight. But I'm sure she uses a million things. And I put this in here because even though I just got it, it is a favorite of mine. And this is the Becca Luminous Flush uh, Blush in Camilla, I think it's pronounced. And that's the color again. It was in one of my recent, um, it was in my Sephora haul. I do have it on today. I don't know if it's really going to show because I've got all my lights on and I'm sure things are being washed out right now. But I love that one. And then last, I've got a couple lip products. First one is the Dior number 485 in the color Girl. And the packaging is just really sleek. It's got like the the little, um, I don't even know what, that would, what they would call that little, I don't know, we're just gonna call it a little thing, I guess. <laughs> and then the color of Girl looks like this. And I'll swatch these for you guys. And one of the things I love about the Dior products is they are, they're very smooth, very easy to blend out, and they're really great. I love them. So I don't mind spending the prices on them because I think they're really good. This one is the number 266 in the color Delight. And for me, these are just super moisturizing and just really easy to work with. I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend the Dior line. And then this is another one that I got from Ulta recently. This is the Clarins Instant Light Lip Comfort in the um, scent Raspberry. So it looks like this. And it just has a little applicator on it. It looks like this. And it's just got like a, it doesn't really have any color to it. Just a very light tinted color to it but it smells I love the scent it smells so good and it feels so good on the lips too it doesn't it doesn't have a really weird like aftertaste it can be a little bit sticky after I would say 10 to 15 minutes when it's just been sitting on your lips for a little bit but I don't mind it at all it definitely uh, is a really nice lip oil on there Okay, so the last thing I'm going to show you guys is one of my favorites is like monthly is getting new phone cases. And I'm really big on the Kate Spade phone cases. So this one is my current one here. It's just got the Kate Spade logo right here. And then um, it just has like a little bit of the gold um, 
encasing on there. But it's just got a little bit of the gold here and then it's the gold imprint there. But that is definitely one of my favorites because I love phone cases. So I'm always buying new phone cases and that is definitely a favorite of mine. But I hope you guys enjoyed my current favorites. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and feel free to comment below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.